We're now going on to a different pattern product combination with the Evo Paint Correction and Polishing System, and we're going to now talk about how to use our Cut 1500, which is a moderate to somewhat aggressive cutting polish, and we're going to be using our second step for our ultra finishing polish, which is our 3000. Now the pads we're going to be using with this demonstration on repair and restore is for what we call conventional or OEM clear coat finish. Let's say you have a three to five year old uh, European domestic car. This is a good starting point. As you can see, the orange 1500 cut matches the orange pad, which is a cutting foam, and the blue Ultra Finish 3000 matches our blue finishing foam pad. So what we're gonna do is use this black hood that we use for our trading academy here for Glosset, and we're gonna show you a pattern product combination using our new Evo 21 dual action polisher. Now, this car had been buffed incorrectly with a high speed buffer causing marring and swirl marks. You've seen when things aren't done correctly, but don't worry because with the Glossed system, we're gonna get this paint back to looking perfect. So let's go ahead and get started with Evo 21, the 1500, the 3000, and let's get it corrected. We're gonna go ahead and get started on our repair and restore step with our 1500 cut to remove these common swirl marks that you see obviously from improper buffing or polishing, but don't worry, we're gonna go ahead and show you the pattern product combination to make this finish look perfect. Right. Now, the 1500 cut is a self-diminishing abrasive. It's a water-based emulsion. It's safe for old paints, new paints, and even sticky Japanese paints. Now, the paint that's on this car is what we call hard finish. And what I'd like to demonstrate is with our orange cutting foam pattern, our 1500, as you can see, the color match, which makes it easy for you to figure out the pattern product combination to remove these heavy imperfections. But let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Evo 21 dual action polisher. And I'm gonna go ahead and attach my six and a half inch orange cutting foam pad to the back of the backing plate. Make sure it's securely on, okay? The next step is we're gonna add the product to the pad. Now, a good question is how much product do I actually need? Well, with gloss, it less is more. So we're gonna put a few beads of product on the outside leading edge. A product, and this doesn't look like a lot of product, but we're only working a small two by two section. We don't need a lot of product. We wanna work a small section by small section to make sure we're removing the imperfections, we're not hiding the imperfections. So let's go ahead and get started. What I wanna do with my speed control is I wanna start off at a speed three. The speed three is gonna allow me to get coverage. I don't wanna start off a high speed because if I start off a high speed, I'm gonna sling the product and I'm not gonna give enough, the, the product enough time to spread it in the two by two square area that I recommend to polish. Let's go ahead and get started. One of the common questions people ask me when I'm doing the coverage and I'm getting my product spread out is how much pressure am I actually applying when I'm keeping the polish around the surface? As you can see, I've got my hand on the head. I'm applying about eight to 10 pounds of pressure. This gives me enough pressure to be able to allow the product and the pad to remove the imperfection. Now I've got my coverage, I'm gonna go ahead and up it to speed five. Now speed five is gonna give me the torque that I need to remove these deep imperfections or deep swirls out of the paint finish. So let's go ahead and get started. Sometimes you'll notice that I'm working the product was barely visible. Okay, and once I work these additional three or four passes, I go want to go ahead and take my gloss enhancer, a quick detail spray, and I'm going to want to go ahead and remove the residual polish. As you can see, there's no dusting, which is a key benefit to the product. Now looking into the light, I want to make sure that we're removing any of the swirls. Once I get the swirls out, which looks pretty good, we're gonna move on to the next step. So we're now ready to move on to the next step, which is our ultra finishing polish. Now this product is great if you're trying to remove any kind of haze or light marring that you could have caused from the first 1500 cut step. And this is what we call drooling process, where we use a fine, fine polish to bring out the color enhancement, the depth and the clarity. So let's go ahead and demonstrate how this works. We're gonna grab our Evo 21 dual action polisher. Let's go ahead and remove the orange foam pad. And now we're going to apply our finishing foam pad. As you can see, the blue color foam pad matches the polish, so you know that these match up. Let's go ahead and apply some product. Now, as you see here, again, we don't need a lot of product. We're gonna put a few beads of the cut ultra finish on here, the 3000. And again, we're gonna start off at our speed dial, speed three. 
and we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and start working a small two by two square area. So let's go ahead and get our coverage first. As you can see here, this product works very fast. There's no dusting. You can see it works wet. And the amount of pressure that I'm applying right now is about, about five pounds of pressure on the head of the machine just to keep the polisher level on the surface. When I go to a finished polish, we're not looking to build a lot of torque or heat. We're looking to finish polish that surface. So a higher speed is not necessarily needed. You can, at your own choice, increase it to speed to five if you feel that the marring needs a little bit more help and torque with the machine. But other than that, I would keep it at speed three. So let's go ahead and take an inspection. We're gonna go ahead and take our Evo Edgeless Ultra Plush Orange Towel, and we're gonna remove the 3000 from the surface. As you can see, this is producing an awesome finish. When I look into the beam of the light, into the hood, all I see is the focus of the beam and the complete clarity. And that's the finish that we're looking for.